How y'all doing out there in fine, fine YouTube slash radio land? In the first story for you. You ready for this one? Well, indeed, prepare yourself because Gordon College seems to be up to some trouble. Yes, America, indeed, is true. The Regional Accreditation Agency has placed Gordon College, a Christian school near Boston, under review for the institution seeking a policy that would make it legal for them to discriminate against LGBTQ employees. Yes, America, indeed, it is true. D. Michael Lindsay made Gordon the lone higher inst educational institution by, you know, out of dozens, basically applying for a religious exemption under the Affordable Care Act. And beyond that, now they want to go a step further and say that they don't want gay people working in their college or university. Well, if it's really just a college. So they're one, they, don't want, they won't hire any gay people. So they basically are, have discriminatory hiring processes. And as you guys already know, a discriminating hiring process is illegal under the law. It's, it, it, it's, well, it, well, it's not really legal because ENDA hasn't passed yet, right? So, but I'm pretty sure in the state of Ball, and Massachusetts, Massachusetts probably has its own ENDA type of law. But beyond that point, it violates the accreditation institution, which is sort of what makes the college real. Folks out there who don't know, accreditation institutions allow, basically say this college is in good standing and your degree is worth something. So if you go to Gordon College, I guess you'll leave with enough religion, but you won't leave with an accredited, accredited degree. It's, you know, it's pretty sad. And, you know, um, so there's been a move um, by Gordon administration sparked a backlash from its own students and alumni with some 300, um, some 3,500 alumni and students signing an online petition calling on Lindsay to rescind his request. Wow. That's what you call activism, y'all. Uh, it's what you call, absolutely call activism. Students are fighting back. Fighting back. Uh, and it's some powerful stuff. It's indeed some very, very, very powerful stuff. So we want to give all the support we can um, to the students and, and, you know, alumni fighting back at Gordon College. Uh, and also, I mean, let's listen. And we're going to be talking about this later on the show. But this whole ideal that, you know, God is love. That's a number one commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself, right? Like number one commandment. It doesn't matter who your neighbor is. And if you really are trying to convert and, you know, prophetize or pro what's the word I'm looking for? You know what word I'm talking about. You know, you want to hand out tracts and you want to preach the gospel of Christ. Why don't you like the, the best idea would be to sort of, you know, common sense to say, well, let's bring them into our institution and show them how loving we are. And maybe they'll change their lifestyle, quote unquote. Clearly not at Gordon College. They didn't miss, they missed that. When the Bible gave them that memo, they missed it. And it was, the memo was sent 2,000 years ago, but it was returned to sender. Oh well, moving forward.